Hello Pocket Bike Planet. This is the Ferrari on the forums. Or if you're watching me on my YouTube channel, it's going to be Skillmatic Wayne that you're watching me on. Um, so we were covering that we had uh, with my X18 uh, that I was experiencing a leak in the bowl area there. Uh, there was a little small hole at which there was a bunch of gas spilling out from. Um, I was advised to take apart the carb here, as you can see it's apart, and um, what I noticed is uh, after all the gas start stopped leaking, uh, there was probably about a good amount of gas that was still sitting in the bowl, and I was advised to check the float for the 10 degree angle that it needs to be at. Now I'm, I'm a bit confused here. Um, like I said, I've never done this kind of stuff before. Um, Dragon Prelude said I need to use an app to balance this. So I don't know how I would go about balancing this with that app. Um, he said, put this on my iPhone. Like, which way? Like, stand up, like, on the here. Stand up, like, here. I mean, I, I'm kind of kind of confused on where I need to stand this bad boy up at but anyways this is what it looks like when it's like this get a clear clear look at that up close that's the angle that that we're sitting at there um, now when I go to bend the tabs which one of these tabs need to be bent? This one right here on top? That t the, the top tab right there? That top one or the back one back here? Does that one need to be bent backwards or forward? Or is it this one on top right here? You know, um, is, does that look like a good enough angle? I mean, how would you measure this? If that's the angle, how would you go about measuring this angle right here? I'm not a good math mutation by any means whatsoever, but if this is the angle right here, like where that in between a float and uh, I guess the bottom of here, how would I measure the angle? And it looks like I got a little bit of debris in there. I'll dust off before I put in the bowl back on. Yeah, how would I go about measuring? Um, I need a little bit more insight here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm new at this, and you guys got me this far. Uh, I have the uh, unifilter here. Um... Which I have to push it back some because it's huge. It's really huge. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, any 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 way to measure this? Like, tell me what I need to do. Or if you can point me to a video or someone make me a video. Um, maybe I would have to go to a store, maybe put a protractor and have it have the flat part sit on this flat part right here and then measure out 10 degree angle is that what I have to do I remember doing that in school <laughs> is there a certain way I have to do this uh, someone please make an insight I tried to look on YouTube for uh, this this 10 degree angle which uh, cam 2 said is the recommended recommended uh, setting for the float here. It's not a modification. It's the optimal setting. I couldn't find any video on someone doing this here and I'm pretty sure if anybody else wanted to go about doing that and it's their first time I'm sure they're gonna be hella confused like me so I just want to get it out the way and hope hopefully uh, someone can make a video or some really great pictures or something to help us understand how to do this 10 degree float. Now let me tell you this, 
uh, this is not the way that the carburetor sits uh, on the bike. Uh, it goes up like this, and the float ends up looking like that. Uh, it's like going down that way, you know? And then I guess when the bowl fills up, and I did do a test here. Um, who was it? Uh, God, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but uh, a guy in the forum, uh, he informed me to hook up, or, uh, sorry about that. He informed me to hook up a, from the gas tank to the, uh, to the gas line in right here. Uh, I went ahead because gas is a hazard and it's a waste of gas. I cleaned out the gas tank, I just put water in there and then hooked the gas line to the gas in here and then I put water and he said test and see if the flow of the uh, line stops when you uh, press up, when you press the float up just a little bit. Now I have to end up pressing it all the way up here to make it stop but if I go like a little bit up here it doesn't stop the flow so maybe that might help you guys out a little bit as for how I need to do the 10 degree float thing you have to press it all the way up here for the flow to stop but then it typically sits like this but like if you let it go up a little bit it still doesn't stop it has to go all the way up for the flow to stop then when you let it out, flow begins once again. So, yeah. So let me know uh, what needs to be done. I provided a bunch of angles here. This is what it looks like uh, when it's sitting in the bike with nothing in there. You know. <laughs> of course, when gas hits the bowl, it's gonna start to bring it up. It has to go like pretty far down, and then booyah. You know. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, well thank you very much for listening to me, sorry for that long video before, uh, but hopefully this will help me out as well as uh, others too that have performed the, went with the uh, optimal 10 degree float uh, setting that we need to do, so I appreciate everyone's help and uh, hope you have a great day, thanks.